Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world, where it's naturally supernatural. What do you do when you're healed of an incurable, painful, debilitating disease, and then years later, it comes back with a vengeance, far worse, from this hopeless, dark pit? My guest cried out to God. He answered and said things that amazed her. She was healed and now wants to let the whole world know what God told her. Do you want to hear? Yeah. Yeah. Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Are there hidden forces of darkness trying to block God's blessings for your life? Do angels exist, providing us with supernatural protection, disarming our enemies? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Is God ready to bring a tsunami wave of healing onto planet Earth today? Sid Roth has spent over 40 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Mary, uh, you had a form of muscular dystrophy you were born with. What was it called? Charcot-Marie Tooth. And uh, what is the prognosis for this disease? So it is an incurable disease. It affects your extremities, so your arms and your legs, and eventually the nerves stop sending messages to the muscles. And so you begin drawing up and atrophying and lose use of, of certain muscle groups. At age 12, you develop scoliosis, and it says here that your spine had a curvature of 33 degrees? Yes, and one shoulder blade scapula developed more than the other, so my back was very distorted, and I had a burning sensation that if I lifted anything, I would usually have to go lie down for an hour because the pain was so great, I had to wait till it would pass before I could function again. At age 19, jumping real quickly, if you, are ready you had a healing. How did you get Jesus that? At age Savior. 14, I went to a David Wilkerson crusade, and Holy Spirit said, go down front. And I said, I'm saved. You know I'm saved. And, and he said, I want those in your high school to know your mind. So I went down front and filled out a card and they discipled me through the mail through the book of John. And by reading the book of John, Holy Spirit highlighted scriptures and Jesus healed them all. And I got a hold of, <laughs> I got a hold of that I am one of them all. And so I came across a scripture, and Jesus cast out the devil, and they were healed. And I looked down at my body as a child and went, this is a devil. So I searched scriptures at age 14. I began trying to read all through the Bible, came across James 4, 7, therefore submit unto God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And over five years, I stood on that scripture. My mother took me anywhere she thought they would lay hands on me and pray for me. And over five years, every bit of the disease left my body. I, I believe they, uh, they did an analysis of your, your spine and the curvature. What did the doctors say about that? Because, by the way, there is surgery that perhaps you could be corrected, but you didn't have surgery. No. What did the doctors so say? So Duke Medical Children's Hospital x-rayed me every few months during these five years when I am standing on scriptures believing for my healing, and they would line them all up and they would just shake their heads because every time I went in, the degree got less and less and less. Okay, uh, 16 years go by, fast forward, 
five children, married. Uh, yeah, I had a little incident at a home church. You went there and uh, they literally embarrassed you. Publicly. Uh, publicly mm -hmm. humiliated mm -hmm. you. You were wounded. So six months later, the disease hits you with a vengeance far worse. My, my husband and I walked a few blocks from our house, went through a park. We're coming out of the park. And in one step, I got paralyzed below both knees. And Rich was walking down the road, and I began calling his name, Rich, Rich. And he turns around, and he's like, come on. I go, come here. And he comes back, he goes, what are you doing? I said, I can't walk. He goes, what do you mean you can't walk? I said, I cannot move either leg. And he had to go home and get the vehicle, and he had to carry me and put me in it. And those began the darkest days of my life. But I made a mistake in that moment. What'd you do? In my heart, I said, the disease has returned. And I made an agreement in my heart with this disease, and I should have resisted it. These symptoms can come back through the same demonic forces mm -hmm. that brought them in the first place. Mm -hmm. And if you can resist it mm -hmm. at that moment, you don't have to put up with it. That's the easiest time to, to resist it. And so, God gave me a key on that. He said, if you will take John 10:10 10, 10 and divide the rest of your life by that one scripture, you will no longer deal with this stuff. And John 10, 10 says that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and Jesus came to give life and life more abundantly. And he said, if it's coming to steal, kill, or destroy from you anything, your thoughts, physical body, stop agreeing with it. And if it's bringing life, that's where your agreement is. That's where you let your mind go. That's what you focus on. But you have to resist when it's coming to steal, kill, and destroy. And, and you know what? She grabbed hold of that scripture. But at that time, she was in such a deep, dark pit that you really wanted to die? I did. Now, cluster migraines have set in. I'm in bed over 16 days a month. That is how many. And I would have four days of migraines, maybe two days out, five di days of migraine. And it was this vicious cycle. Day after day, I didn't know if I could get out of bed. And the pain is so great that I told God, my husband's good looking. He's very kind. Somebody else can come in here and take care of these children because I am failing at this. And I began s hating myself. I began despising myself. And I cried out to God, please let me die. We're going to be right back. But she also cried out a question. Why, God? Why me? Be right back. Right back to It's Supernatural. Hello, YouTube. Mishpocha. Mishpocha is a Hebrew word. It means family. This is Sid Roth. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. If you've been blessed by this show, please subscribe. Then click the bell so you won't miss a single episode of It's Supernatural. We now return to It's Supernatural. So, so Mary in this hopeless pit, as she just said, she uh, was reaching out to God, and she found John 10.10, 10, and then God gave you further revelation on that. I said, God, why is this happening to me? And he said, why do you think this is me? I said, what are you talking about? He said, look around heaven. I have no storehouses of sickness to give anyone. And I said, well, then how did this disease come back? And he said, your heart got injured in that church. And instead of running into me for healing, you turned inward. But I became a very, very private person. And, and God said, by turning inward, it created a landing strip in your heart because you didn't get it healed and the enemy was able to land disease. And then you read a scripture, which uh, the, the, the pool of Siloam and this man got healed. And uh, that tell changed me what, everything. Tell me what God showed you from that scripture. First, explain what happened in the scripture, then tell okay. us what happened. So when the disease hit, 
I began shrinking because I couldn't walk. So my bones went into osteopenia. I shrunk two inches. My whole body began to atrophy. So my husband said, Mary, we're going to put an addition on the home. We're going to get you an indoor swimming pool because the few muscles you have left, we need you to use them because, you know, when your body begins shriveling, you're, you're just losing. So I carried my Bible out there and I thought I'm going to have time with God before I get in. And I just let it fall open on my lap and my eyes fell to John 5 and I read the first couple verses and Jesus comes along and he says to the man, do you want to be made well? And the man says to him, well, when the angels come and stir the water, somebody always gets in there first. And, and Jesus ends up healing the man. But it was my conversation after I read that passage that changed everything. Holy Spirit said to me, what do you think of that story? I said, well, it's a nice story. <laughs> <laughs> And he said, you don't believe it. And I said, well, I've never heard any pastor preach on this. I've never heard anyone talk about healing angels. And Holy Spirit said to me, if that man was not getting healed, he would have gone somewhere else. And in that moment, the faith of God came into me. And I looked over at that pool and I said, I have water. I want some John 5 angels to come stir this water. And for two years, I got in that pool. I had those conversations with Holy Spirit, which became my book. It was all the keys He gave me. And through those conversations, that landing strip in my heart got healed and all my symptoms left and I became disease and pain free. Well, and one of your keys was being thankful. And mm. tell me that experience about your feet and being thankful. So one of the conversations I had with Holy Spirit, He said, thank me for your feet. Wow. I said, why? They don't work. I couldn't move them. I literally could not move my feet. And I went into an open vision, because I'm looking at them, talking to Holy Spirit, and my feet weren't there. I saw stubs at the end of my legs. Mm. Well, that'll freak you out. So I pulled my leg up and I began stroking my foot. And I said, thank you, Jesus, for my feet. Thank you for my beautiful, beautiful feet. And Holy Spirit said to me, you cannot be despising and cursing your body parts and have healing come. So he shifted my thinking and how would I would begin treating myself and my body parts that weren't working. Tell me about laying on of hands. What did the Holy Spirit show you? Well, I was in this private place. I had gotten wounded. I was still going to church with my family, but I wouldn't talk to anybody. And or very few people, and I'd gotten wounded. And so here I'm in this private place, and I'm finding that scripture, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. I said, Holy Spirit, I have hands. Will it work for me to lay hands on myself? He said, the same power that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you. <laughs> so I, every day, I would take my hand and I would say, I command every cell in my body to line up with the Word of God. I took those scriptures and I put my name in them all through and that scripture became alive for me that I can lay hands on myself <laughs> and be healed. Uh, I'll tell you what, are you ready, are, are you ready for a little um, practicing what we just heard? All right, if you are a believer in Jesus, I want everyone to Put your hand, if possible, where you want healing. And if you can't put your hand in that place, put your hand anywhere, because the Word of God says to lay hands on the sick. It doesn't say where. Okay. Now, I want you to lead them in, okay. in prayer to be healed right now. All righty. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that your word says, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And Father, we all come in blood covenant agreement because of what Jesus purchased on Calvary. And we lay hands on ourselves and we command every cell in our bodies to line up with the word of God. Every organ, every tissue, everything that has been trying to exalt itself above the name of Jesus must bow <laughs> in Jesus' name. When we come back, you're going to find out something I just found out. I found it out last night. <laughs> the frequency of Mary speaking or singing in supernatural languages, in tongues, heals all of your flesh. Be right back. We will be right back to It's Supernatural. 
Call now and get this brand new book, The Healing Journey, and anointed three-part audio CD teaching series, Conversations with Holy Spirit for Supernatural Breakthrough by Mary Haas, plus her 21 Keys to Healing bookmark. This is an exclusive offer for our rich supernatural audience, yours, for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9561. Through her book, The Healing Journey, and her three-part audio CD teaching series, Conversations with Holy Spirit, Mary conveys the miraculous story of how God healed her, and she shares what the Holy Spirit revealed to her, both concerning His mysteries and His truths. What she imparts will change your life and the way you live it. Drawing on her personal conversations with the Holy Spirit, Mary imparts to you supernatural and practical keys to achieve emotional and physical healing. Through her book and three-part audio CD teaching series, you will receive your Heavenly Father's love and overcome all fear, guilt, and shame. Receive Heaven's perspective for your life. Understand the miracle and redemptive power of the blood of Jesus. Learn to pray more effectively to overcome every symptom trying to come against you. Recognize the operation of lying symptoms in your life and render them powerless. Included on each audio CD are Mary's anointed prayers for you to break off the lies of the enemy, overcome every symptom of sickness, step into a greater level of intimacy with the Holy Spirit. You will also receive Mary's 21 Keys to Healing bookmark. It includes the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to obtain your victory on an ongoing basis. Included are key number five, stop negativity, change your mindset. Key number eight, start confessing God's word. Key number 10, pray in the name of Jesus. Key number 12, take communion every day. Key number 14, pray in the spirit. Key number 16, invite God into every room of your heart and so many more. Don't miss out on getting this brand new book, The Healing Journey and anointed three-part audio CD teaching series, Conversations with Holy Spirit for Supernatural Breakthrough by Mary Haas, plus her 21 Keys to Healing bookmark. This is an exclusive offer for our rich supernatural audience, yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9561. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9561 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. So, for two years, Mary is in that pool, believing God, and developing such a relationship with Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit is telling her one thing after another after another to manifest her healing. One what? of the things he told me was, I said, I would apologize to him all the time. I'm so sorry, God. I'm so sorry I'm not doing more for my children, for your church. I can't teach Sunday school. I can't do all these things. And Holy Spirit said to me, I wanted you to know my love for you apart from your giftings. And I said, you, you love me like this? God loves us wherever we're at. And that revelation of how loved I was helped me to start loving me. And, and I would walk and talk with him for two years. And in two years, all the symptoms, once again, and these are far worse than I'd ever known, completely disappear. I get my life back. I get use of my hands back, use of my legs back. <laughs> this is a funny, funny story. She gets the use of her hands back, and God tells her to paint. What did you think about that? I would just turn away. It was a two-year conversation. Uh, 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 let's put a picture of one of her paintings because she finally obeyed God and found out she thought she had no art talent and her hands weren't <laughs> even built to paint. But this, this is what she's doing now. Do you know when God says all things are possible, He really means it? Tell me what God, the revelation you have on blood covenant briefly. So I, during those two years, got to go to a Bible study, and they taught on four keys, the name of God, the Word of God, Holy Spirit, and the blood. And when they taught that when you are in blood covenant with God Almighty, whatever's happening to you is happening to God. If it has no right to God, 
it has no right to you. And I looked down at my body and I said, this disease has no right to my father. And I'm one with him through the blood of Jesus. So it has no right to me. And I began pleading the blood of Jesus. I would say, I apply the blood of Jesus upon me, within me, around me, between me and all evil and the author of evil in Jesus' name. Body, you must line up with the Word of God. And enemy, you cannot cross the bloodline. So Mary, uh, you learned a lot about praying in supernatural yes, languages and tongues. And one day you were praying in your language uh, and a and new language broke out. Tell me about that new and language. So in the pool, Holy Spirit said to me, I want you to get some Morning Star music. I said, why their music? He said, they're on the cutting prophetic edge. I didn't even know what those words meant. So I ordered a CD and when I would sing with that CD, they knew how to usher in the presence. I would get into a realm of presence like I had never known in my life and I would sing in my prayer language and this new language came about. And in that language, I felt so loved that the promises were so alive. So in our journeys for our breakthrough, we need to worship. Worship takes us before the King. It brings us into His presence. And when we come into His presence, that light has to dispel the darkness that we're fighting. I'll, 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 I'll tell you something. I want a quick word to someone as to what to do if the symptoms come back. Real quick. Treat it as a lying symptom. Pain came back in my body. For three weeks, my left toe throbbed like it had before I was healed. And I'm trying to drive the car and um, just different things, and I was in so much pain. And Holy Spirit said, what are you doing? I said, I don't know. What am I doing? He said, don't agree with that. Treat it as a word of knowledge. And I'm in a car. I, don't, I can't look around and go, anybody got pain in their left foot? You know? And, and He said to me, pray this prayer. Father, whoever in the body of Christ has this pain right here, I command it to go in Jesus' name. So I prayed it, it went, and the enemy hardly ever puts any pain on me because he knows I'm going to treat it as a word of knowledge <laughs> because we reap what we sow and we can sow prayers for the very thing we want all by ourselves and reap the healing and send out healing to people we've never met. I don't know, you know that is so profound. Did you catch that? When you have a symptom, treat it as a word from God to heal someone else because it doesn't belong on you. And, and so you go out with a vengeance to see people healed of what that lying symptom is doing to you. And in Jesus' name, you're back. That's a word of knowledge. I don't have a backache, praise God, but your back is healed in Jesus' name. <laughs> Mary Haas was born with a rare form of muscular dystrophy, CMT, a neurological disorder that affects both motor function and sensory nerves, a disease which is currently incurable. At the age of two, her mother introduced anointed prayer into her life through the power of the Holy Spirit. Throughout the process of receiving a total healing from this devastating disease, Mary received divine revelation from the Holy Spirit on 21 keys on how you can receive your healing, your miracle, and your supernatural breakthrough. Call now and get this brand new book, The Healing Journey, and anointed three-part audio CD teaching series, Conversations with Holy Spirit for Supernatural Breakthrough by Mary Haas, plus her 21 Keys to Healing bookmark. This is an exclusive offer for our It's Supernatural audience, yours, for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9561. Through her book, The Healing Journey, and her three-part audio CD teaching series, Conversations with Holy Spirit, Mary conveys the miraculous story of how God healed her, and she shares what the Holy Spirit revealed to her, both concerning His mysteries and His truths. What she imparts will change your life and the way you live it. Drawing on her personal conversations with the Holy Spirit, Mary imparts to you supernatural and practical keys to achieve emotional and physical healing. God spoke to me and said, people will live and not die if you will write this book 
and share the conversations you had with Holy Spirit that took you on your healing journey and caused you to walk out of an incurable disease. Through her book and three-part audio CD teaching series, you will receive your Heavenly Father's love and overcome all fear, guilt, and shame. Receive Heaven's perspective for your life. Understand the miracle and redemptive power of the blood of Jesus. Learn to pray more effectively to overcome every symptom trying to come against you. Recognize the operation of lying symptoms in your life and render them powerless. Draw close to the Holy Spirit and let Him be your prayer partner. Understand the power of your supernatural prayer language and how to use it. Included on each audio CD are Mary's anointed prayers for you to break off the lies of the enemy, overcome every symptom of sickness, step into a greater level of intimacy with the Holy Spirit. You will also receive Mary's 21 Keys to Healing bookmark. It includes the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to obtain your victory on an ongoing basis. Included are key number two, worshiping the Lord continually. Key number four, forgiving yourself and others. Key number five, stop negativity, change your mindset. Key number eight, start confessing God's word. Key number 10, pray in the name of Jesus. Key number 12, take communion every day. Key number 14, pray in the spirit. Key number 16, invite God into every room of your heart. Key number 19, partner with others, and so many more. Don't miss out on getting this brand new book, The Healing Journey, and anointed three-part audio CD teaching series, Conversations with Holy Spirit for Supernatural Breakthrough by Mary Haas, plus her 21 Keys to Healing bookmark. This is an exclusive offer for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9561. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222. Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9561 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. In God's glory realms, there's life, increase, abundance, healing, wholeness, provision, and prosperity and deliverance. If you're no longer content to just hear about the glory, but you want to experience it for yourself, then I want to help you get moving, moving in God's glory realms. Join me, Joshua Mills, on the next It's Supernatural with Sid Roth. Your gifts to this ministry will help Sid air It's Supernatural in Israel 28 times a week and distribute his evangelistic book to the Jewish people worldwide. 